I had used a red marker to indicate areas that I wanted to cut away. In this case, I'm going to be using the black marker to indicate areas that I want to keep instead. And I just made that decision because I realized that there's a huge area that would need to be cut away and it just seems like a lot of unnecessary marking. So as long as you can keep it straight in your head, whether you're marking areas to keep or areas to cut away, you can use either method. I'm just going to darken in areas that I need to keep on the block to um, print as my last color. So I can just kind of quickly hatch out some of these sections as areas to keep on the block this time instead of cutting them away. I hope I'm not confusing you by doing it this way, but I think it'll be a little bit faster. All right, keep a little bit of a shadow there. There's a cast shadow from the handle that I want to keep here. And um, then this will probably be kind of feathered out there, but um, most of this will be remade, will stay on the block. I do want to have a little bit of reflected light on the underside of this ridge. So I'll leave the top part dark, but I will cut away a little bit of the underside there. And the bottom half of this handle, I also want to keep a shadow on there if I can. And the cast shadow here on the back side of it. So all of this will stay dark. There's a little bit of a cast shadow on that rim. And uh, this area also stays dark, so. And I'll keep a little bit of a cast shadow underneath the rolled edge of the pail. I think I've got everything. Let me just double check. Shadow there, cast shadow. All of this will be cut away. Okay, I think I've got it.